reveal of Supreme Autumn Winter 2020. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably tired or bored of Supreme. I have never been. Supreme is Supreme and Baby and April are always going to have a very special place in my heart. Even the hundreds as well, because they were my first introduction to streetwear back when I was, what, 15? Hmm? 16 17 yeah 16 17 that was my like first introduction to streetwear they obviously had me um glued to their um anything they put out i kind of consumed you know i was always in the stores especially when we had a busy workshop here in london that was already a good place to kind of hang out minus some of the 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 absolute wankers that hanged out around there some of the guys that are always at the front of the queue they were they were twats on the highest in order but apart from that the crew that we used to kind of roll around with were pretty solid and just generally everything that came up came out of that scene was really really uh, beneficial to my life you know met some really close friends able to work in some cool places went to some cool place went to some cool places as well as in holiday um also got to like you know tap in on a scene that you know at that time was sort of in its infancy so that was really rewarding and just generally just be part of something you know um at a youth culture level that people don't kids don't really get to really experience nowadays isn't it because there, there is no real subcultures if you believe that um i do i think what the closest thing we have to it at the moment if you're young is maybe tiktok which is you know it's a little bit it's a specific type of interest right i'm not going to disparage you i think kids you know should be allowed to have fun in it wherever which in whichever way they please but if you're not a dancing kid and if you're not that you know extrovert or yeah yeah if you just if you're just not that kind of guy or girl that's going to put your camera next to a window still and start dancing right um it's hard to find your little subculture it's hard to find people that you're kind of share uh, you know have a shared passion uh with some things and i guess um supreme was that at that time as well growing up man it was a bloody great 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 era um so i've been keeping an eye on it from, from afar i stopped really wearing it for the most part maybe what 10 years ago maybe plus um i don't really wear it. i think wearing gaudy logos and you know box logos stuff like that is a little bit you know beneath me i think if i do wear box logo it have to be just the, the classic um red on white you know sort of box logo on a white t-shirt that might be a classic you know that's a classic staple in anyone's wardrobe but going around wearing a trench coat a jumper a pair of jogging bottoms with barbed wire and all that sort of stuff at my age or in my situation or in my position in life is a little bit yeah it's not something that i'm really into but again i'm still a big fan of the brand i still think they are probably the number one or the numero, numero uno premium premium streetwear brand at the moment uh maybe you could add stussy in there as well at the moment doing really good things you could add maybe patter in there doing really good things on a european basis there's loads of other brands out there doing amazing stuff but the kind of brand that always sets the best benchmark sorry is supreme and the autumn winter collection is always the best right um i think everyone could agree on that spring summer is usually okay but i think most men's most men's fashion aficionados would say autumn winter is definitely the place to be if you're a supreme fan because of all the nice crazy outwear pieces they put together some of the nice knits jumpers cardigans um trapper hats gloves beanies like they just they just go ham on that respect and it makes sense isn't it founded in new york the winters in new york are flipping um nuts you spend probably a lot more of your time in new york um underneath a beanie or encased in a bomber jacket of some sort so they do go out of their way to make sure that everyone's laced the right way so they put out a preview which basically contains the entire collection of clothes that are due to drop for the autumn winter minus i think some t-shirts and usually collaborations they usually keep them they, no so usually the north face collaborations and nike stuff and sometimes the t-shirts they usually keep those um for later and they will kind of announce them as time goes on but so far you know you get the whole entire collection which we're going to go go for a few of the pieces that i haven't actually seen actually so we can go through them first time and kind of give my initial impression so this is from the supreme website click one of the squares and it takes you to number one piece you got what here a varsity jacket with a hood which you know is all right i'm not really for again the logos on the front the script it's just not something i can never get down to wearing but again i can understand people's appeal with something like this but that's not for me at the moment oh you've got a nice basic uh globe ma1 jacket it's really nice isn't it and the interesting thing i think about supreme at the moment is that as the years have progressed, because I remember in the beginning, one of the nice, one of the great things I liked about Supreme was that I remember James Jebby always saying, I think someone asked him, oh, why do you always work with North Face? And he's like, oh, because they're the best in class at making 
couple of jackets, isn't it? And we can't do them ourselves in the house. So we'd rather partner up with somebody that makes them to the highest level possible instead of trying to make like a really crappy version of our, our own crappy version of something that they already do. So um, you get the feeling that I've always kind of had the feeling, which I'm not sure if it's true because I think North Face is like a quintessential uh, New York winter you know jacket and you know it has a lot of heritage and graffiti and skateboarding culture so it's it's unlikely they're going to sever those partnerships but it feels like as the years progress as the seasons progress supreme keeps bringing more and more on their outwear pieces in-house there there's less scott collaborations there's less collaborations with a random person that's going to make a suit um there's less collaborations even with um uh material manufacturers um it seems like there's a lot less of those. So maybe in eventually, um, and further down the line, you will see um, Supreme just make everything in-house, whether it's like North Face type noopsy jackets or windbreakers uh, and kind of leave the collaborations for like every other time, you know, for like whenever they can. Like even Stone Island stuff, they sort of reined that in as well. Um, for the most part, it felt like they were going to really revamp that up. I'm not sure what the, what the issue with that. Maybe they've, they have like a non compete with North Face, but it does feel like they're doing a lot of that going forward. But I like this bomber. Again, I'm, I'm a sucker for bomber jackets. You know, I've got plenty of them in my wardrobe that all look the same. Um, what does it say here at the bottom? Illustration here says wind, uh, water resistant nylon flight satin jacket, snap flock, uh, original embroidered artwork by AOI, who I don't know who that is, but and the jacket is made exclusively by Alpha Industries for Supreme which is always great, which is kind of the, the thing I love about streetwear too. The fact that you could go to Alpha Industries as a brand and basically collaborate with them, but then ask them to make little tweaks on the jacket that you want to put out for your brand, whether it's, you know, um, lengthening the cuffs, uh, maybe um, the dimension of the waistband, maybe changing the component on the zip, maybe the snap front closures, the material and the lining, like all, all that things you can kind of edit. And I think that's kind of the beauty of it. Um, because again, I'm I'm a big believer in you know, it's hard. It's really hard for men to be fashionable. I'd say in that regard. That's why I probably I prefer me, uh, streetwear for men's as opposed to fashion for men's because I think streetwear for men's is more functional and kind of really uh, plays into the classics of every man's wardrobe: a trench coat, a bomber jacket, denim jacket, jeans, hoodies, you know, t-shirts, long sleeves. Like you can't really go wrong with that. But you know trying to pull off a money look trying to pull off a i don't know uh whatever a rick owens look it's not easy do you know what i mean not all men can be fashionable but i think most men can be stylish and i think that's what you get from wearing streetwear clothes let's continue here it's black obviously the green is lovely that they've always got a really lovely tone with their olive bomber jackets alpha don't they and again the little embroidery of the supreme on the front which again i could do without having that I could probably make it tonal but i get it they're not gonna do that oh 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 this is me all over bloody hell this reminds me of that um down jacket that they released what was it a few years ago that a few people wore carty wore it travis wore it it was like a 700 down. I think it was based on a jacket that was essentially used for racking and st that was essentially jacked in uh, department stores across New York for a long period of time. Really, really big jacket, which I'm not sure if they've even made. It's not even a collab, but I think it might be actually done in-house as well. Another one. This is fucking gorgeous. Look at that little ski mask thing on the front. Um, so it mentions here, Gore-Tex 700 fill down Parker, waterproof breathable Gore-Tex with two layer shell, tape seam, 700 fill down, insulation and embossed logo lining. The four zip closure, a Velcro packet, zip pockets at the lower front and chest with an interior mesh pocket, interior elastic uh, shot cord at the hood and hem hood, um, printed logo on the back with embroidered logos on the hood and cuffs. Bloody hell. I'd be all over that. That looks banging. That looks so fucking good. Again, the logo at the back. Ay, ay, ay. In red as well. It comes in black, I'm assuming. In the olive. The olive is probably my favorite, I think. Maybe the leopard might be a little bit too... It might. You might date yourself quite quickly wearing that. And it's nothing you can maybe wear day in, day out. But that green is fucking banging. Isn't it? Especially with the tonal logo at the back. Yeah, I'd, I'd be all over that one. And then black as well. Jesus Christ, this is hard. Gore-Tex 700 field down, Parker. Yeah, I'm all over that one. That was harder than hard. Bloody hell. I told you, man. Winter's already winter's already smashed it. Um, you got this full fur reverse hooded jacket, which, you know, I could probably miss. Um, you got, what's this? A digi floral corduroy shirt. Yeah, I'm all right with those. 
I think in the shirts, maybe apart from the flannels, I could probably do without. Um, these sort of like rayon shirts are really popular. But when, whenever I see shirts, I just think of Peggy Goo. And, you know, I'm not I'm not trying to look like a, a slim Asian lady. It's not really my vibe. But um, the denim jack, denim shirts again. Um, nice shirts there. Yeah, fair enough. The shirts are all, all right. I guess if that's your kind of vibe. Probably a bit overpriced for what they are. This Scott Jack is... Um, um, oh, it's Vanson. Actually, it's a Vanson Calabria. This is very nice. Um, I've actually have a couple of... I have a leather jacket that has this same sort of texture as well. Um, that I'm assuming has been aged more organically than this has. But this looks gorgeous regardless. Wow. Supreme and Vanson. Worn leather jacket. It comes in brown as well and in black. That's, that's banging. That's a very good piece. That's probably going to be about what? A grand maybe? Or maybe close to a grand? And then, of course, you've got um, this down jacket that Supreme Kit's doing, which, again, goes back to my idea that I think they're going to eventually do their own down jackets and stop collaborating with North Face. The logo on the back, though, man. Oh, God. They, I think they've cleared, which is fine, isn't it, I guess. They've decided, because I think um, if Supreme kept making clothes for me, people like myself who, who you know, we, I've, who've been buying Supreme since, you know, for like 20-plus years, they wouldn't make any money. So they have to tap into the new generation. They have to kind of um, gain a foothold and kind of gain a stranglehold on the purse strings of the kids that are 16. So they keep constantly keep buying their stuff so they can obviously stay in business. So they have to just lean into what they like and they like logos. They like, you know, brand names on their stuff. They want people to know what they're wearing is, you know, something exclusive. And I guess it's what you have to do with this massive Supreme logo on the back. It's like, God damn it. On the front and on the back, it's like enough, man. And I'm sure they have something on the hood as well. It's like God, but the orange is really nice though. It reminds me, it's very um. I like that, like a crackle, crackly sort of print, isn't it? What is that? What if it's just a shell with a distressed print? Yeah, I like that. Really nice. The orange is beautiful. Reminds me of like a Stone Island jacket or something. But yeah, it's just too much, man. It's too gaudy. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? They got a fox racing jacket. I was actually watching a. A, a video from uh, what's her name is it Ray Moon Summer Moon oh, I forgot the name of that girl but she had a pretty cool um, fox racing long sleeve on which I thought looked quite amazing so yeah so this is obviously going to be a thing I'm assuming there's probably a bike and accessories coming up as well but yeah I'm not I'm not really down for the big gaudy logos on the back of Supreme jackets personally man that's just not my vibe what else you got here we've got a Supreme and Toshio Sasuke how's it what's your parents' name? Toshio Sasuke work jacket. This is very nice. <laughs> I'm all for this. It reminds me of something um what's his name would do? That Dave guy would do on this as well. So I'm 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 I'm, I'm with this. Um let's go oh, wrong one there. What else is on here? Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Supreme and Smurfs. I think th th this news was leaked a while back, innit? They were gonna have a collaboration. Um, Gore-Tex jacket that looks pretty cool I'm a big fan of that going up and down oh the neon is lovely isn't it Gore-Tex pants as well that's going to be very popular I'm assuming um, again you've got what's this a black arc denim jacket um, original artwork by Lee Scratch Perry awesome <laughs> yep that's that's probably going to be an easy cop for a lot of people to wear BLM and all that hooded down jacket love this Again, the logos on the side is just a bit much for me, so it probably have to be a blue or that pink. Oh, that blue is lovely. You know, that electric blue is banging. Yes, yes, yes. I remember I bought an actual. Well, that was back in the days of when Uniqlo was at its peak. I remember I bought this down jacket, which I think my brother still has, in purple, and I had it in like an orange. I had it in a red. It was so good, so good. Like one of easily one of my best down jackets I ever purchased. But it was like you know one of those down jackets that Unico would have done where they sort of co purposely copied United Arrows or some other nondescript um, uh, Japanese brand at the time. Oh, it's so so nice, man. But this is lovely. I like this. It's packable as well. This is really pretty pretty cool. Again, so loads of down jackets that they're making in house. Again, um, another indication that things are changing. Um, we've got here a reverse color block um fleece jacket in the style of a Piet Mondrian piece. Is that original artwork by Piet Mondrian as well? Nope. But it looks cool. Fleeces are, are are a big thing with fleeces are a big thing with all those kind of falling upwards dudes, isn't it? All those white guys that wear um loafers with um cycling shorts, isn't it? They love wearing fleeces and stuff. I'm not sure if it's like a purpose. It's sort of like a 
so it's all like a um uh, the male version of man repeller. What would that be called? Woman repeller, right? Where they purposely wear like really shitty clothes. Well, not shitty clothes, but they they purposely wear stuff that shouldn't be worn together and sort of try and make it work. I guess they they're into all this sort of stuff. Um, you got a patch patchwork of a law long sleeve polo. Looks pretty decent. Again, this is probably more for the young skater guys that wear really big jeans in the style of Jenko and Converse and stuff like that. So you, you can tell it's very much pointed towards a younger clientele. Although that, that half zip is gorgeous. I love that. Oh, this Velour half zip is lovely. I could see myself wearing something like that. If, I hope it comes with a pair of shorts. Oh, I'd wear the hell out of that, actually. Um, that Supreme long sleeve isn't too bad. T-shirts, long sleeve as well there. Not too shabby. The print on the elbow is quite interesting, isn't it? For a long sleeve. Not seen that. Um, again, some nice script logo stuff. Tonal T-shirts. Meh, yeah, we can move away from that. What's on here? Have you seen this? Nope. Oh, what's this? Watches reversible puffy jacket. Uh, yeah, it's probably not that great, is it? I just, I think I kind of spoke too soon there. Maybe, what, do they have a Rolex collaboration coming up? I'm not too sure. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Micro down hooded pullover with the tree bark um, uh, print all over it. That looks mad. Yeah, all for that. You can see Unknown T wearing that in a new video. Um, oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Aerial tapestry Harrington jacket. Who who did this? What what for, what artwork? Who original, what original artwork is that from? That's beautiful, isn't it? That's really, really beautiful. Yeah, that's going to be very popular. I can see that happening. Um, and then what's that? A velvet work jacket. They always do really good work jackets, aren't they, Supreme? In patchwork as well. Very special sort of style there. Again, man with the loafers. They're going to be all over that. Then we've got a penguin hooded fleece jacket. Pretty decent. Not not, not mad at that. That's a pretty fun piece, isn't it? Especially in the blue or the grey. Um, this Supreme Sidetrack logo, I'm not really a big fan of at all. Let's move on to that one. What's this with the Ace of Spades? Uh, a Chains Quilted Jacket. That looks fucking awful, doesn't it? God almighty, that looks bad. But again, I can imagine all those kids that live in Notting Hill and that queue out of, uh, outside of Supreme would be all over this sort of stuff, innit? It's a, again, it's a very young man's piece, and I guess if I was their age, I probably would buy it as well. Um, but yeah, right now, just can't justify it again. All the boring stuff I'm into. Supreme. Oh, look at this. Supreme and Smurfs jean jacket. It reminds me of like old iceberg history stuff, innit? I love that. Very so solid. 1995, innit? Air Max 95s and a pair of these. Uh, a, a bottle of Prosecco somewhere. Um, border lines. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for this. is really cool. It would be awesome if they did like some sort of promotional item around the old school UK garage days and have people wearing this. That would be sick. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. Maybe someone from Kiwi Records could do a little a little thing with that, innit? Who knows? Um, oh, look at this technical field jacket. God damn it. This is bad. Is that like a digi camera? What is that? Uh, what resistant uh, cotton full zip closure jacket, zip cargo pocket and Velcro flap patch packet, um, patch pocket, sorry, with dual top and side entry. Um, interior elastic shot cord, a hood, embroidered logo, zip. Bloody hell, I love that. It packs into the cargo pocket too in there. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, I'm all for that. That one in the camo. Yeah, give me that. The vest as well. The little kids love wearing. Put your shanks in the little pockets. Very, very versatile. Uh, big stitch hooded. Um, again, I'm not. I'm not bad at that. Oh, look at this. This is funny, isn't it? They got a cross vest logo. <laughs> You know, that kind of reminds me of, um, who is it? Was it Ask Pizza? One of those guys? You remember back in the day when they got their box logos and cut them all off and put all the logos on top of one? Remember? I think I think it was Ask Pizza, isn't it? He cut all his box logos off and he kind of had them all stacked one above the other. Um, massive flex, in it? Because obviously he had to destroy five other box logo hoodies to do so. But this is pretty interesting, isn't it? With the cross on it. This is going to, yeah, that's going to sell like hotcakes. You know that already. That's, you know, that, 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 that goes without saying. Uh, Supreme and Smurfs hoodie, that um, Japanese artist illustration. You got the same print on the jacket there. Some recycled bits and pieces on the hood. Oh, this is nice. What's that one? The Lee Scratch Perry hoodie there is pretty nice. Egyptian motif on the back is okay. Jewels I'm not too fond of. Um, the globe on the hood I'm I'm not too mad at as well. The zip hoodies are quite underrated actually. Maybe even more so than the pullovers. I remember I had a couple and they were really warm. Especially the thermal one I bought ages ago. 
one of my favorite pieces i end up actually losing like an absolute legend i am but yeah not too bad at that that cross logo is going to be good oh look at that again an another good indication that they're moving stuff indoors because this would have been what a collaborate with lorna purina whatever you pronounce that um brand that they always collaborate to do these sort of like um wool overcoats with this is great i love this it kind of reminds me of like an old yoji yamamoto piece or something in it where it's sort of like the the script would be loads of threading sort of hanging off of it very beautiful love it i'm a big fan of that that looks gorgeous oh in black with red as well yeah i'm all over that that's really nice um this is nice too what's this a leather collar work jacket with a nice floral print all over it those zip pockets are always a murder to put your hands in, isn't it? It hurts after a while, isn't it? You end up getting all these little teeth marks all over your flipping fingers, but I guess you're not meant to put your hands in it, actually. You know, day to day, probably meant to put them in the side, but, you know, stuff happens sometimes. Move back from that one. What else is going on here? Oh, this is pretty nice, isn't it? A crochet hooded zip, zip up sweater. This is this is definitely a Marmite piece, but I, I'm for this. I really like this. This looks lovely. It looks very cozy. <laughs> And again, something that is a bit understated, you know, doesn't look like it screams supreme, but it is. And the the man in that no, no, isn't it? Well, they've got a the little logo tab there on the side. So yeah, if you know, you know, but I like the, oh, in the hood as well. See, oh, I just wish they would have made stuff tonal on these things, man. God almighty. Everything, I think it's a, it's a purposeful decision, isn't it? Nothing is tonal when it comes to script or logo. Everything has to be contrasting, but hey. Mo, what's it? Is that mohair? No, brush plaid sweater. Oh, I love that brush plaid. Is that what it looks like? Oh, it's brushed mohair plaid. Okay, I bet it's a mohair blend. Interesting. Love that. Love that effect on it. Actually, <laughs> looks like it looks like something you see a Mary Carey video, isn't it? Um, again, you got the FC UK things that people love to wear. You got to see all the edgy kids wearing that. Um, nice zip up cardigan. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Brush mohair cardigan. These cardigans always do really well anyway. They sell out pretty quickly. That's lovely, isn't it? Nice leopard. Great purple color book and a black. Again, another nice cardigan, which you can imagine someone like a Tyler Brock rocking the hell out of, isn't it? He's probably going to wear something like that. But yeah, these pieces are pretty decent. And let's pretty much move on to some accessories, maybe. What's this? Oh, quilted flannel shirt. You know, Cholo vibes. Supreme at the back. Can't go wrong with that. Well, you can go wrong with it because it's a massive script logo. But hey, what can you do? Um. Oh, I love this. Car mechanic style, isn't it? Yeah, some of the some of the shirts I'm not really that fond of. I think they've kind of missed the ball the shirts from prior years. But I guess there's only so much things you can do with a button up, isn't it? Um, Supreme and what? What's this? Supreme and refrigerator wear insulated iron tough jacket. Yep, yeah, I don't know. I'll probably pass on that one. The vest looks pretty decent though for it. This collab. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else do you have here? Uh, those are hats as well to go through. Camp cats are camp cats never fit me, so I never even bother even talking about them. Um, as you can tell by the size of my head, um, there's, it's never going to be a situation where I can wear a camp cat. And usually I just try to stick with the five panel hats they have or the tracker hats or just the beanies. But camp cats, I had to kind of, you know, purposely put myself aside. Because I think the first camp cat that I tried to buy and actually wear might have been the Comme des Garçons Supreme, the first collab. Remember the kind of pinstripe one? I actually bought two because I thought I'd wear them and then they just didn't fit at all. And then I had to decide on that day. I was like, okay, cool. I'm just going to, I'm never going to be the guy that's going to have like a one level or a skin fade or like a regular skin fade. So I just had to kind of decide, no, I'm off it. And I had to sell it, unfortunately, man. Really gutted about that, but hey. But they're really cool though, the designs, if you can wear them. Look at that one with the zip on the top. Great stash box in it for you know what. Um... Again, some nice cats here with the low flaps on them. Let's see what the five panels are. Oh, look at that. The crochet hat with the matching hoodie. Come on, bruv. Easy cop. Um, Continue. Let's see. Where, where, no five panels. Where are the five panels at? Give me a five panel that doesn't look, doesn't make my head look mad. Maybe it's this. Oh, no. Some more outwear pieces. Bruv, they are packing in the stuff in it, man. There's a lot of pieces here. Oh, Futuro logo screw neck. That's a really good one as well. Easy one to buy. If you're going to buy a logo hoodie, 
from Supreme, at least by, you know, maybe this sort of like classic ice um, hockey top sort of font or the Futura script or just a box logo. But anything else is probably a little bit too much for me. Or that motion logo too. I really like the motion logo. That's probably one of my favorites from Supreme. Oh, the Fox hoodie is pretty cool. Fox racing. Um, again, maybe a young man's game with that one. Um, Kaimo here. What's that? A car? A polo Tech Hobbit pullover. Not mad at that, but again, not many pieces there that I would actually wear. Oh, look at that. Dragon hockey jersey. I'd be all over that. That's fucking fire. Jesus Christ. That's something that you'd see in a vintage shop and you'd, you'd, you know, you'd have to buy it. You'd have to. Even if it was a triple XL, do you know what I mean? That looks bad. <laughs> That looks bad, boy. Love that. That that is that is really nice. That's probably the first kind of gaudy young man piece that I'd actually buy from this. This is really nice. I like that hockey top. Um, the baseball jackets. No, thank you. No, thank you for that either. World famous is really nice. Reminds of kind of old school rough riders sort of stuff. Um, world famous football jersey. There looks pretty interesting. Again, another Piet Mondrian top. Not really a fan of that. More jerseys not really found that long sleeve either not that much stuff in here that i like there where's the five panel hats come on show me a five panel um what is this um tax a teclaxa a tax tax color blanket jacket is that mexican i'm assuming right yeah is it woven hand woven in mexico jesus they go see i told you man they're moving away from doing Loads of jacket collabs. Loads of stuff is being done in house, or partnering up with other, you know, manufacturers and stuff. But actual collabs in a conventional sense, they look like they're dead outwear pieces from Supreme. Oh, this jacket's not too bad. Again, young man's game, probably not for me at this present moment. We continue on, and then I spent a long time talking about this. I'm sorry, let me move on. Quickly wrap this up. Oh, this backpack is lovely, isn't it? Lovely backpack. They don't really name them anymore, do they? they? Just they just put them out. They don't really name them, or they don't number them actually. They did in the past. Because I think I've got like what I had a nineteenth, maybe a couple. I had, yeah, I had a nineteenth and a twenty-first. I think. Um, they don't number them anymore. They just kind of just put them out as is. But yeah, the, the backpacks and jackets are always really good, easy buyers. To be honest, I'm never mad at any of the things that they do. Pouches, um, waterproof backpack, nice with that kind of distressed material that they've got on the other jacket that we saw previously a nice classic kind of book bag canvas bag as well oh that's going to be very popular isn't it that just a basic canvas bag lovely love a bit of that one um any ca any five panels there we go maybe somewhere here beanies you got that fluffy beanie at the top that might be really popular too with people bubble beanies coming up smurf beanie oh it's gonna that's gonna sell out like hot cakes I love Supreme Beans probably gonna sell out really well as well. Piet Mondrian one, the Penguin one's gonna be pretty popular. Of course the uh, Rah, they got a box logo and a beanie, bro. That's a madness. Two box logos and a beanie. Two for the price of one. Some great beanies though, isn't it? Great headwear for your cranium. Um go back. I haven't seen any five panels or am I going or am I high? Pants here. Nice. We probably can back out of that and move on. Only five panels. There we go. Finally, hats are gonna fit my head. Five panels, six panels. Maybe I need ten. You know, depends. Panel. Oh, okay. With the little uh, drawstring at the back. Then, which is sure if I'm fond of that one. Get my little hair stuck in them. Um, yeah, they're pretty cool, man. As per usual, from Supreme. All you can expect from them, really, going forward. Um. And then I guess accessories are going to come up to next, isn't it? Some t-shirts here. Nice, 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 nice. Move out that. And then let's go to some accessories and see what they got there. Because it's always an interesting part. Whoa, Supreme and Jacob and Co. That is sick. I remember Jacob and Co. Back in the day, man. Buying bloody fakes of these and bloody Dalston. Back in the day, it was funny. Or getting your friends to go cop, a, cop one for you when they went over to the States. And at that time, you thought they were legit, but they weren't. They were just buying them from other fake retailers over there as well. That was a funny moment in time. But that's a great throwback, man. Jacob's the jeweler. Jacob, they're probably my favorite gaudy hip hop watches still from this to this day. Um, again, you know, I'm, I'm saying this now having, you know, no ice on my wrist, but the kind of, um, you know, future, um, you know, 
what they call it bust down watches that people watch wearing at the moment where they're the entire face of watching card and diamonds as is a strap i'm not really a fan of i still want it to look like a watch sort of but with a little bit of you know unnecessary um you know really distasteful glitter and diamonds all over it especially with the addition of this sort of like faux crocodile snakeskin strap that's on it as well so i'm a big fan of jacobs and and again and and it's not as massive as some of these other watches these rappers are wearing now at the moment where it so it looks like they're what they're wearing a bloody smartphone and they watch this is pretty um cool looking by all tests purposes stainless steel it says yes J- jacob the jeweler um 40 millimeter and 47 millimeter watches so i guess one is smaller than the other that's pretty cool stainless steel color the four minute day frame alligator strap okay it's an alligator strap actually it's a real alligator strap nice stainless steel logo buckle water resistant up to 30 meters bloody love that man wow i'm really like that that's lovely um they've got a jacob the jeweler padlock necklace bloody hell a supreme Mortal Kombat arcade game that's so sick oh look at that pat mcgrath um pat mcgrath labs lipstick awesome i'm interested to see what the promotional pieces with this as well going forward that's pretty cool isn't it <laughs> one for the ladies or one for the collectors in general uh pat mcgrath lab- lipstick box there what is this they've got a supreme what is that a supreme cartel tricks modular sofa bed seat with three adjustable polyurethane foam components that's pretty cool love a bit of that isn't it looks far more interesting than the stuff virgin for ikea that's really cool yeah so literally this could, could be a bed could be a little bench a little place to do some aggressive yoga got a fish bowl that's pretty cool supreme oh jesus christ <coughs> <coughs> Supreme and Colgate, wow. <coughs> wow, sorry about that. I think it's going to... I remember it's probably going to be the same... It's probably going to sell out in the same fashion. It's probably going to be region Pacific like the Oreo stuff was, which is annoying. I really wanted the Oreo stuff, but it's only, you know, only in North America. It seemed you could, get them, you could get them. You couldn't. They didn't sell them in Europe. So don't hold your breath on that one. A Chucky collab, awesome um supreme what's that jerry can fill it up with fuel and petrol if you need if you're a little 32 cc engine bike um got a bellhop lamp wow an urn or a vase depending on how you look at it a watch plate a microphone oh i like this i'm all for that mate yeah i'd love that <laughs> bloody hell a metal folding chair, which is cool. A supreme anchor. What's that? Nebula capsule projector. Wow, lovely. Oh, step stools. <coughs> Remind me of my old school retail days. A basketball from Spalding. Some playing cards, binoculars, wrench, lighters, a whiskey flask. I'm assuming, right? Uh, nice little foldable knife. What's this? Charger power station go jesus christos headlamp to your running dudes out there supreme headlamp don't get jacked badge stickers phone cases oh super air force ones again they're gonna be i'm guessing they're gonna be season in season out like the haynes stuff that they're doing uh, wow key rings i'm not sure what these pieces are little um, badges stay positive skateboard decks lovely isn't it oh nice cruiser deck there love that but yeah <coughs> as per usual decent stuff from supreme in it decent stuff from supreme i'm guessing it's dropping very soon let's take a look at the lookbook before we move on spent too much time on all this stuff they've all grown up in it the mothers in it sage and what, what's his name um whatever the other guy's name the other guy's name it doesn't matter but yeah Loving the pieces, man. Look at that. The outwear looks so tough. <laughs> yeah, the outwear looks amazing. Yeah, his braids are gone. Very well done. Yeah, that that <coughs> that piece there is very underrated. I think that might be a, a bit of a sleeper for some people. <coughs> but yeah, lovely. Lovely stuff from Supreme, as per usual. 